Good day, I'm Theodore Henry, and this is your JIS News for Thursday, December 17. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has stepped up planning for the management of a COVID-19 surge over the period December into February. Portfolio Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says the focus has been on boosting readiness with technocrats and clinicians from across the public health system. Attention is being paid to hospital capacity, critical care, and testing. The health team is also reviewing board operations, field operations, and the information and communication systems to support surveillance and reporting. In the meantime, Jamaicans are being reminded to be vigilant and adhere to the wearing of masks, keeping six feet physical distance from others, frequently washing hands, and abiding by quarantine rules. The Heart Trust NTA will be taking its classes to students, particularly those in rural communities, with the aid of the new mobile training unit. Prime Minister Andrew Holness launched the mobile training initiative at the Garmex Academy in Kingston on Wednesday. The retrofitted unit can accommodate classroom space for approximately 20 students and is outfitted with internet connection, bathroom facilities, and other conveniences. Prime Minister Holness says the acquisition of the mobile unit will enable the National Skills Training Agency to reach unattached and underserved persons in remote, rural areas, as well as those who may have started but not completed a course. Let me acknowledge and congratulate the management uh, and the Board of Governors of Heart, Board of Directors, for pressing along stridently in making interventions to ensure that there is access and equity in training across the island, even in rural areas, in inaccessible areas, in areas where we may believe there is no need and not just geographically, but demographically as well. The Western Hospitality Institute's Negril Campus has a newly refurbished skills training center that will strengthen its program delivery in tourism and hospitality education. The $10 million project was undertaken by the government of Japan under its grant assistance for grassroots human security project. During the official handover ceremony recently, Japan's ambassador to Jamaica, Masaya Fujiwara, said his government was pleased to contribute to human resource development in tourism, which is a key sector in Jamaica's western region. Japan Jamaica share the views that education of our people is an important foundational pillar for nation building. Principal of the campus, Eladio Vassal, says the management, staff, and students are grateful for the project. The building you're about to tour has been restored to accommodate eight bedrooms, which are on the lower floor, which will be utilized as housekeeping lab slash classroom. And on the second floor, we have a library, we have a computer room, and we have three classrooms. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has tabled the revised National Identification and Registration Act 2020, or NIDS. It replaces the NIDS bill that was struck down by the Court of Appeal in 2019. In Parliament Tuesday, Mr. Holness said the state had revised the legislation to align it with the court's ruling. Among the changes are a voluntary and secure national identification system and an administrative structure to establish and maintain the system. It also allows for a robust legislative framework to treat with the collection, processing, storage, retention, usage, and protection of personal data. An independent oversight body, as well as the protocols, procedures, and systems for identity verification, monitoring, and compliance have also been included. Prime Minister Holness says the new NIDS bill has the potential to positively transform the efficacy and transparency of interactions between the state, businesses, and citizens. The bill will serve as the legal basis for the establishment of a robust, efficient, and effective national identification system underpinned by a legal and regulatory framework that supports safe, secure, and reliable verification of identity, information for citizens uh, of Jamaica and persons ordinarily resident in Jamaica. It will allow for the strengthening of identity security, reduction of identity fraud, 
and the simplification of bureaucracy. The new NIDS bill has been referred to a joint select committee of parliament for deliberations. The Ministry of Agriculture has provided two of its agencies with equipment valued at $29 million to help farmers improve their access to water and agricultural markets. A backhoe and SUV to carry out maintenance work were handed over to the National Irrigation Commission and Water Resources Authority recently. The items were procured under the Essex Valley Agriculture Development Project, which is helping to boost the livelihoods of over 700 farmers on 718 hectares of land in St. Elizabeth. Portfolio Minister Floyd Green says it represents a journey towards the long-term modernization and transformation of the agriculture sector. This project is a comprehensive project. Not only do we get the opportunity to do the wells and do the pipelines and do farm roads, it has a very strong training component, it has a very strong certification component. And then where most projects fall short, which is what happens after the project is finished, this Essex Valley project comes with the resources to provide for a very strong maintenance component. The Essex Valley Agriculture Development Project is being funded by the United Kingdom Caribbean Infrastructure Partnership Fund at a cost of £35.5 million. And finally, Jamaicans are being encouraged to tap into entrepreneurship for national development. Prime Minister Andrew Holness made the call Tuesday as he attended a ceremony in honour of businessman Ian Kent Levy. Mr. Holness insisted that if the island was to truly realize its potential, entrepreneurs and business leaders should be embraced. We need our business people and we must encourage them. Indeed, I would say to parents that you need to start to have this kind of conversation with your children about them becoming entrepreneurs, about them understanding what risk is about, about getting the ideas and the innovation, about not just seeing themselves as consumers and workers, but people who can take the ideas that they have in their heads, go to the banks or go to a financier or go to a friend and mobilize the equity. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Theodore Henry. Thanks for watching.